Hey there, Canva just introduced their floating menu and I wanna show you how I like to use it and how it can help you too. So I have a document here open. This is from my brand in a box collection. This is the Desi collection, the Facebook ad templates. And here, let me show you. So if you click on anywhere on your file, you're gonna see these three dots pull up. So if you click on the three dots, then here's the floating menu here. And each thing that you have selected is gonna have a little variation. So um, when I select a photo or when I select text, different options are gonna pull up. But here we can copy this, we can paste it from here, you can copy this style. So let's say we wanted to take this font style and we wanted to apply it somewhere else in our document. So I'm gonna copy the style and I'm gonna find a place where I would maybe wanna put that. Okay, here we go. So I wanted to apply it there. And then of course, if I needed to resize it, I could, but that's just a quick way to change um, some of the fonts and the, keep the same style going. Another thing you can do with the style is if you selected this color and you wanted to copy the style, you can copy that style and then select something else. So I selected that blue and turned it to this um, like mauve color. So that is another way to use it. All right, and then also, Another thing you can do is arranging. So I want to move this box to the back and now with this floating menu, I can do that really easily. If I go here to arrange and then I'm gonna do say send to back or I could say like send backward depending on where I wanted it to be, um, you can do that as well. So I'll just show you again. I can arrange this if I wanted to send that photo to the back or I could arrange it and bring it forward. All right, also aligning to the page is another option. So align to the page, let's say I wanted this to be left justified, I could do that. Um, and of course I wanna move that back, so. All right, also with photos, you can detach the image if it's in a frame or something. So there's my framed circle box. And then if I wanna just drag it back in there, I can. Um, also, if I wanted to lock this image in place, I can select lock and do that as well. So sometimes when I'm working on um, something like, let's say I don't want this photo to move, but as I'm creating my document, it's kind of getting in my way and it keeps moving even when I don't want it to, you can set it in place. So here I'll show you. So that's already locked. I can unlock it here, lock that, that way, whenever you're working on um, the file, you know, I'm trying to move it here, it doesn't move, but I can still move everything else around. And then of course it's easy to unlock, just like that. So those are some of the fun features that you can do with the Canva floating menu. And I hope you enjoy that. We'll talk to you next week. We'll see ya.